What's good, good people? I'm gonna start a new segment called What's in Seacam's Humidor. I have plenty of different sizes and types of humidor. As you can see over there, I have a wooden humidor, I have a um, acrylic humidor. I also have a tubby humidor. So I'm gonna go through a sum of my humidors and see what I have inside of those. Um, my wooden humidor changes often, so you might see the same thing. Uh, let's see, I'll probably do that one later. Um, my wooden humidor is basically for stuff I might smoke next. Uh, so that was a little bit drier. Um, so usually I take my cigars out and let it, let, it, let it dry for a whole day or something like that. But I'm going to go through these cigars and my new setup hitting humidor. I just set this one up. So we're going to see what's in this one and, and what cigars I have and what humidification I have. First of all, it's airtight. Um, this box is like it's $10, I think. Uh, you buy a Dollar Tree or anything. Pop these off. And it holds the humidity for you. Uh, this one is pretty much for singles. Um, uh, it, it holds humidity for me. Um, it holds a lot of cigars for me. I was running out of space in my other our other humidors, but in this one, um, it's I'm, I was gonna put trays in this one, but I was having an issue with the trays. I need to season my trays first before I put it in there, uh, so because the uh, humidity was dropping on this one. And so this one, I'm just gonna I might put trays in there once I run out of cigars. Right now, I got two trays on standby to put in here, and they actually wasn't fitting like I wanted to. I wanted to stack double trays of all, all up to the top, but uh, it was a little discrepancy with size with this one. I might switch out with one other humidor with this one. But what's in this humidor is basically um, a few cigars I just bought. I have the uh, Mastera de Saka, uh, it's not the, um, the one everybody else talks about, this is something different. Uh, this is the Nakatama Lee. I don't know, it's very Spanish words. But I just bought this one. This was a pretty expensive cigar. I can't wait to put, put this in my rotation and try it. Um, I heard good things about the cigar. I'm ready to give it a try and taste the flavors. Uh, let's see, I have the Gurkha Ghost. I actually like the Gurkha Ghost. A lot of people don't like the Gurkha Ghost. Uh, this is the Gurkha Ghost Tubo Angel. Uh, it has a unique flavor to it. Uh, some people don't like it, some people do like it. Somebody said it has, it tastes like burnt plastic. I don't know, it, it tastes different to me. Uh, it was a good cigar for me, so. I love this, so I bought another one, you know. Um, I might send this to Diesel and see if he likes it too. He probably won't. Uh, let's see what else I got. I have AJ Flynn's Bell's Artis, which is great, I love that cigar. This is one of my favorite cigars, H. Upman, um, The Banker, this is the annuity, right? I uh, know this is the, uh, this is not the annuity. This is the bigger version. The annuity, I like the annuity versions. Uh, let's see, I got the Romeo y Julieta uh, Reserva. Uh, this is not the Reserva Real, I had the Reserva Real. That one was okay, but this Reserva is way better than the Reserva Real. This one's actually pretty good cigar. I have quite a few of those. Actually, we'll take most of those out. Uh, I have a, let's see, put them on that. I have the Monte Cristo uh, Nicaraguan series. I have about three of those, three or four of those. Let's see, take that out. I have the Antenso. I heard this one tastes like a Padron. I don't know, but I can't wait to have those. I have, a torpedo. I have the um, torpedo version as well. I have the Padromo Maduro 10 year, which is pretty cool. Uh, another Antenso. Let's see, I have the Tarzon, Tarzona, 305, never heard of them. Can't wait to try them. Uh, this cigar I really like, this is the uh, Pier 28. I love this cigar, yeah. It's a really good cigar. Um, I have a, uh, a house blend for Churchill cigars in, in Atlanta. I have the Monte Cristo Platinum. Heard great things about that one. Um, I kinda like, I kinda like Monte Cristo. Uh, they're pretty good to me. Uh, very smooth, very, very um very you know mild and stuff so i have the trinidad uh santigo her great thing about her great things about trinidad i have the romeo romeo julieta and neo and i have alec bradley um black market not the yes elite one i haven't had this one yet. i can put this in my rotation um i have the macanudo um Vintage 1997 Maduro, 
I heard good things about it. I only bought this one for the metal band. That's pretty much it. I don't know how I'm put that in my book. Uh, Rocky Patel, Vintage Connecticut, 1999. Uh, actually, I got these cigars for $8.99. Uh, liquor store was selling for really cheap. Uh, they were kind of hot, so I grabbed them. It was like, you buy five, you get two free. So I bought a whole bunch of these. Um, Monte Cristo Craft, uh, Epic Craft Cure. Um, uh, everybody talks about that, how great that one is. Mm -hmm. Never heard of this one. This is the um, Ortez Omar uh, original. Triple O's. Uh, let's see how that one tastes. My, um, one of my cigar shops had, was having the uh, sampler uh, sale. And it was like if you buy a sampler, you get like a ticket to win a humidor. Monte Cristo humidor, which is pretty cool. This is good. I like this cigar. This is the Monte Cristo, Monte Cristo Classic. I haven't had it in for a long time. This was one of the cigars at the liquor store I was talking about. Uh, so I paid $8.99 for this big guy. And I actually like those cigars. It's pretty good. Um, what's this one called? Uh, this is the Trinidad. I don't want to say that. Espiritu. Espiritu. Series number two. Um, this was on the list, on my list uh, of a great cigar. So can't wait to try that one. This is one. This is my one of my favorite Rock Patel. This is the Rock Patel Vintage 90, uh, 90th. Uh, very smooth, very flavorful. Same place, uh, same liquor store. That is for $9.99. Uh, and I had a thing. I wanted to be a big asylum cigar just to have them. I don't know why. I probably smoke them later on. Or I'll go to like a cigar lounge and I got a lot of time on my hand. I smoke them so I got uh, the Asylum Pandemonium. Uh, it's a pretty big cigar. I think it's a, it's a eight and a half by 52. 13 dollar cigar. Which is not bad. I uh, got the Asylum I don't know how to say it's a Maduro. Another 13 dollar cigar. And I have this one. I have I actually had this one. This was pretty good. I smoked this while cutting the grass. Uh, smoke is great. Output is great. This is a big boy. I like this one too. Uh, the, this one was actually it's actually a seven by seventy. Let me see. We're almost done. I got that big flathead seven by seventy. I'm um, smoking it with diesel or something like that. Uh, the CL flathead V seven seventy. Uh, one of my cigar shops said this was a great cigar. Uh, this was in that sampler pack. This is a raw butter vintage. He said it's really good. So can't wait to try six by fifty two. Uh, this is the um, Room 101 Big Payback Maduro. That was also on the list of great cigars. I had to pick it up. Uh, the Wise Man Maduro. I uh, can't wait to try that one. And it's getting a little prank to turn my AC down because it's getting a little foggy in that one. Uh, let's see. Uh, the Macanudo Cafe. Uh, my friend gave me this one. We did trade. Um, He's new with cigars. I gave like five cigars and he gave me this one like the which is great. I just want to pick. Uh, I just wanted to not take away from his collection. Uh, this is the Cane Daytona. Uh, Cane D Daytona. So I had the Cane Straight La Hero. That was flavorful. Um, very smooth, very strong. Um, so I heard Daytona was good as well. So I can't wait to try that one. This one right here is my favorite cigar uh, from um, one of my favorite cigars from my father. That's the Jaime Garcia Reserva. Especially y'all, very toothy on this one. I'm gonna buy a box of these. These are so good. Uh, Leva O, regular, not Maduro. Half cookie, but provides cigars. This one's pretty good. I like this one. I'm not a big Romeo and Julieta fan, but they do make good cigars. So this is the Romeo and Julieta Corona. Uh, you can find this one. It looks like the uh, Romeo and Juliet Reserva uh, Nicaraguan, but it's not. This one actually is really flavorful. Another one of my favorite cigars, I like Particus. So the Particus Heritage is a great cigar. You can buy a box of these, these are really good. Uh, a Connecticut House Blend from Churchill Cigars. Uh, this is the Cycle, Cycle 7, Cycle 7 by Venture Cigar. This is a pretty good cigar, I like this cigar. Uh, very big, um, it is a 6x60, so these are should like that one. Uh, my friend gave me one of these and I liked it so much I bought some more. It's a Padron Habano Sun Grown um, Barrel Age. This one's pretty good. I bought a big one this time. Uh, let's see. The La Gloria Cubana Series R Maduro. These things are hard to find, but I found it in my local shop. Very dark wrapper. Can't wait to try that one. This is the EP Carrillo. 
Um, this is the which one is this one? This is the La Historia. Um, it's fourteen dollars for this one. I can't wait to try this. I heard good things about this one, so I haven't tried it yet. But I can't wait to try it. Um, this is something I pick up. I go to cigar shops and I start from beginning to end, scrapping what they have in their collection. So this was next up on their list. It's the A two eight. I think it's a yoke and arrows. Eight two eight. Never had it. Never heard of it. Uh, hope it's hopefully it's good. Um, hope it's not a bad cigar. And I have the Red Lab by Provada. And this cigar right here, I'm aging. Uh, it's a pretty decent cigar. Um, I have two of these left. Uh, I mean, it's not bad, but it's not great. It's the Romeo and Julieta, uh, crafted by AJ Fernandez. Um, I got a lot of Romeo and Julietas because I, I started buying sample packs from um, JR Cigars. They, they love having Romeo and Julietas in there. And this one is like the first five packer I ever bought. These, these cigars are pretty good. Uh, it's the Particus Cameroon. That's uh, probably my first Cameroon I've ever had. It's pretty good. I mean, I'm Asian one. I'm keeping this one for anybody uh, else want to have it. I'm going to try it again later on. Uh, it's very toothy on this one. But um, I look forward to tasting these. And the stuff I have in this, I have a digital um, hygrometer that goes to my phone. It's at 66 right now. Set more Fahrenheit. And this one of the cheap ones. This, this was off, so I rolled a 75 at the bottom. So I know what when it's accurate or not. And I keep a few, a few both pass it here. Wait for the big one from Diesel it's supposed to send me that one. <laughs> but then that that is this humidor. This is one of my humidors I just set up probably last month. And I put a few ones in there that I had in bags and my other humidor box humidor. I have a humidor for just boxes and I have like four little bitty uh tub of doors I just have um that I started off with and I I got had too many cigars for that one. And like I said, a wooden one and my critical one, I have one for um, a desktop of the critical one that stands up. But I lay it sideways because I don't want my cigars to mess up. That's for my cheap cigars. But that's the humidor. Uh, next one, I'm starting a series. So the next one would be probably my, um, probably one of the small ones. So it won't be as long. All right, I'm signing off for now.